Because there is a lot of badass giant mechs over here. Like, my, my mech is like a little ant. My mech is like a little ant walking through. And there's like gargantuan mechs here. And they're all destroyed, so... What's up, guys? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Pantropy. We are on the... What is this server called again? Mash Troopy server. <laughs> all right, guys. Oh my god, I have done so much off-camera work. Um, I'm just gonna let you guys know right now, we might be dealing with this today. This um, auto mining device is in freaking sane, okay? Um, we need to make some more drills for it. By the way, you can also make drills, like certain levels, right? So, the drill head, I guess it's called head, drill head. Yeah, there we go. Advanced mining head, there you go. Um, each one will do a different tier. This will be tier 2, this will be tier 3. I think we're going to make some advanced mining heads um, to make some uh, some tier 2. I don't think we could do the tier 3 yet. Yeah, we can't do the tier 3 yet because we need an electric smelter to deal with our uranium. All right? So we're also going to make an oil an oil uh, generator and possibly some other stuff. So if you're never enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So... I'm just kind of giving you an idea of what I've got here. Um, I've made a ton. It, basically, the way the way construction works in this game, and this might, I think this is changing. I think they're going to simplify it. But the way it works right now is that we have like three different steps of each building material, right? You've got uh, construction components. You've got a, a, a electric motors, hydraulics, electronics, and there's a few more as well. And then each one has three steps, right? You got basic, advanced and copper no that's not copper the next one's supposed to be heavy duty right so right here the we have three of uh of each of the motors so i'll show you right now so we've got a basic electric motor we've got a advanced electric motor we've got a heavy duty electric motor and that's the way everything works basic hydraulics advanced hydraulics and if we had them they would be heavy duty hydraulics same thing with the basic basic electronics and as you can see right here i have been crafting a lot of stuff I've got like 400 electronics I've got 500 base construction, tons of base construction stuff. Um, and I also have almost a thousand steel. Okay. Steel is a big one. Steel is a real, real big deal. So, and that rhymes too. So anyway, guys, let's do some research, man. I've been dying to do some research. I haven't been doing it. I've been collecting it, but I haven't gotten to make a video the past couple days. So we're going to do, we're just going to research like crazy. All right. What is that? Uh, rocket launcher pod. Yeah, we should probably go for that. I guess we probably 16% is really not that good. Um, so we're going to go for that. There we go. Um, let's put this one in there and that's the advanced mining station. And that is the, I need the, I need the laser smelter. Let's see if this, if any of these give us a laser smelter. Uh, let's go with that. That's a hundred percent. Um, oh, here we go. Tier two. I don't think I have the tier two mining drill. Well, I don't because it says it's not research. Now tier three is obviously better, but tier two is a hundred percent. So we're going to go with that. Um, okay, here we go. We got another chance at this. And cool, we got the tier 3 as well now. That is just awesome. So let's go ahead and put these down here. There we go. And let's look at this one. Uh, solar panels are pretty cool. Perimeter wall is nice. Uh, perimeter gate is 100%. Let's go with the perimeter gate. I'm just going 100%. Yeah, let's put that up here. There we go. And that's the same thing. Wait. Oh, I didn't learn them. That's why. Yeah, let's learn them really quickly. Just so when we see something, it says researched. By the way, as you level up in research, your research gets better, right? So you'll have higher percentages. All right, let's go with the... Let's go with that one. There we go. All right, you got one right here. We can either do the rocket launcher or the railgun. Small rocket launcher. Now, are these for me or for my mechs? I'm going to go with the 100%. I'm, a, I'm not a gambling man today, so <laughs> uh, let's take a look at this one. Uh, we already got that. That was the... Oh, we got the Tier 3 mech, okay. So we got the Railgun, the Dual, Mech Dual Laser Lance, <laughs> and a Cannon. All right, let's go with the... Uh, let's go with the Railgun. Sure thing. Okay, so let's... Oh, boy. So that's 100%, 17%. I don't need this. It'll be nice to craft more. But I simply don't need it. I'm going to go for the laser smelter because this is the number one thing that's holding me back right now. Beautiful. Wow, I didn't think I was going to get that. That is That changes everything, guys. Um, we're going to go with the laser smelter today. Faux show. Okay. So the first thing we want to... Look at how that, that cleans out my inventory. So the first thing we're going to want to actually go for is the advanced mining head. Um, we've got enough of those. Although we want multiple advanced mining heads. Uh, one will be okay. So let's go here. See, see what we need all that steel for? 
right? All right, so there we go there and craft, craft. Oh, this is instant now? It's kind of weird. All right, four, five, six, seven, eight. See what we need all that steel for, man? You think, I, you think I'm joking with the steel? As a matter of fact, I'm going to make some more right now because I do not want to run out of steel. By the way, anytime you put E in here, <laughs> yeah, it, it brings you out of the um, inventory. Uh, early access, guys. What are you going to do? All right, 200. So that's going to take up most of my iron. Um, you know what? I really don't want to... Nah, you know what? Let's hold off on that for now. We don't need the steel right now, so let's not go crazy. Although we have a lot more iron coming through here. Not that much more. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, check out that uh, head. Advanced mining head. All right, we need two more of those. I don't think we have any room for it. That's probably why they stopped crafting. Hopefully we didn't lose anything there. Uh, I'm going to bring this down here. Let's... Oh, there we go. So are they going to craft or... It doesn't look like they're crafting. because Probably because I didn't have any room. Now we got the steel back, so that's all that matters. All right, so let's go ahead and make two more of these. All right, you going to craft or what? Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's acting a little weird today. That's okay. All right, advanced mining head. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and make that. And then we're going to come out here. And this is going to give us tier two stuff, which is going to be pretty cool. Although, wait, tier two. Tier two is uranium, right? No, I'm not really sure what tier two is going to give us here. Um, it'll be interesting either way. All right, so right here we've got a basic mine head. And this thing's all... Oh, it tells you what it gives you. Right there. Um, so this will give... Oh, it will not give us uranium. Bummer. All right, we need to get the tier three one going. But that's okay. We got to... Actually, how hard would it be to make the tier three? Um, yeah, I can't do it without uranium. So it's irrelevant. All right, so once the drill heads are completely used up, guys... Um, you can use them in the next crafting. They can't be repaired, but you can use them to make the upgraded ones. So don't throw them away. And you could recharge batteries. Is that battery charged? I can never tell. It doesn't look like it's charged. So we're going to put that right there. We're going to put that right there. Well, it wasn't charged. So there we go. Look at that. Getting some oil. We're getting some magnesium. Oh, so it's not going to give us the other stuff though. So the tier one heads are still useful depending on what you need. And actually, I probably... Well, I've got a lot of iron. The Tier 1 stuff shouldn't be that big of a deal. So I thought the Tier 2 one would give you Tier 1 and Tier 2 stuff. It doesn't. It only gives you Tier 2 stuff. So that's interesting. We need to keep that in mind. All right. So... Okay, so I have another light here. Let's go ahead and unassign and lights. What I do is I drag all my lights into the light area. And then I can turn them off without any issue. Like so. Um, now they're all on. Now they're all off. So we keep them off during the day. I don't even care about the electricity. It's just they're kind of annoying. All right. So let's go ahead and make the oil. The uh, oil generator, guys. This should be incredibly easy. All we need is eight of these. Um, eight of these. No pro. Oh, boy. We don't have enough. See? You need a lot of stuff. All right. So let's go ahead and make a, let's go ahead and make a bunch more of these. Let's, make, let's just make 50. All right, guys. I think we're getting there. There we go. Laser smelter. Very cool. Now, I last last uh, series, uh, well, not last series, the same series as this. But when I was on the other server, I found a laser smelter, but it did not work. So I'm hoping this one will work. All right. So let's go ahead and lock this into place. Uh, is that not going to go over on the sides? No, nah, it's going to go right there. Uh, maybe we should put this kind of like freeform. Oh, it's look at it, look at it. It's all crooked stuff. Oh, uh, I guess we could just put it there. That's fine. You don't really want it up against the wall anyway, I guess. All right, laser smelter, where art thou? Did I make it in the, uh... Yeah, I probably made it in here, didn't I? Yes, I did. All right, come on, laser smelter. You could use the advanced crafting station as, like, an extra crafting station. So if you want to, like, craft a bunch of stuff, you could set up probably a few of these advanced crafting stations and just get stuff done quicker. All right, there we go. Is that a good spot for it? I'm probably going to move the other one, so that's a fine spot for it. I'm probably just going to move this one. All right. So let's see if this is going to work because it didn't work last time. Let's take a look at the base. All right. So energy production is 50 kilowatts. Well, that's because we're not using the uh, coal or the um, uh, the oil generator. There we go. Whoa. whoa. Uh, click to activate. Oh, it was activated. Basically, as soon as you put the oil in there, it's already activated. So I deactivated it. All right. So now we're producing... 
All right, guys, when I last looked, the oil generator gave a lot more power than it does now. Apparently, the power the, the oil generator gives out 250 power, or maybe I'm just mistaken. I don't know, but um, it's putting out 250 power. Now, this thing is going to need 300, okay? So this is worth 50 for the coal generator. I'm going to make another coal generator, and then I should be able... I might even make two coal generators. Now, I could just make another oil generator, and I, and I will... But I need to expand my base a little bit, and I'm not quite sure how I want to do it. Not really what I was prepared to do today, so um, I don't think I'm going to mess with that today. Uh, we should probably take out that electric smelter. I'll probably wait a little bit, though. All right, so let me go ahead and wait for that coal generator, and then we should have plenty of stuff. One of the things that was sucking up all the power was the shield generator. I didn't realize it was on, so... <laughs> that was pretty funny. I need to get a I need to get a light for my um for my character so I can walk around at night. I also need to make a mech so I can get around uh quicker. So those are two things I want to do today, and then I think we're gonna go check out that point of interest. I think it should be pretty pretty sweet. All right, let's come on over here and close that. All right, we should be just about done now. Uh, there it is, coal generator. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be breaking it up, so I'll just put it down sloppy for now. All right, so we turn this on, we turn this on, we turn the lights off, uh, lights, and we have 300 power, and I know it's a little dark, just bear with me, and we can now uh, smelt stuff, cool. So now we can put a lot of stuff in here, guys, that's what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know if we're going to want more glass, I might want more glass, but well, this is what we really need, we need, we need that uranium. Uh, there we go. We got some depleted uranium. That's what I really wanted. Is there anything else to throw in there? I'm not seeing anything. All right. So I think I'm going to wait till daytime, and then we're going to make a mech, and we're going to go check out the point of interest, see if there's any uh, goodies over there for us. All right, guys. I can I cannot deal with this. Um, developers, um, I know it's pre-alpha early access. I'm not, you know, but would you, would you be able to, like, deal with this so we don't have to, like, get blinded here? Um, what I'm going to do in the meantime while we wait for the developers to fix that is I'm going to go ahead and put down some walls here. Kind of separate this up a little bit. That way I don't have to look at that when I don't want to. And, um, yeah, that looks cool. Uh, oh, yeah, my password. Blah, 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 blah. I have a hard time not saying a password when I put it down, so. All right, man, look at that. Look at that depleted uranium. Dude, this is awesome. This is awesome. I'm actually uh, in the middle of also making another coal generator. Because I don't want to have to deal with uh, not having lights during the night. Alright, so I don't want this to be on for that long. I'm thinking about turning everything off right now while I'm gone. I don't really think I need this stuff on right now. Alright, um, but before we do anything, let's go ahead and make ourselves a mech. Now, there's a couple different mechs we can make here. We can make a scout mech or a tier 3 mech. Um, tier 3 mech is going to be really involved. Let's just make a scout mech for now. It'll just be a little bit easier. So there we go. We got that. And we got that. Oh, God. We already have everything for the scout mech. That is awesome. I wonder if we could put the railgun on the scout mech. This weapon can be stalled on the tomahawk. Nope. Cannot put it on the scout mech. Is there anything we... Oh, scout mech machine gun. Yeah, let's do that. 14. We're getting a bunch of these. Yeah. Let me get to this. I want a, I want a machine gun on the scout mech. All right, guys. We got the, uh, the scout mech machine gun ready. Uh, let's go ahead and put it in. I'm not sure what kind of ammo it's going to take, though. Um, so let's go ahead and put it right here and install... I guess once you install it, you can't take it out. That's the idea. I guess. I don't know. Installed. Uninstall oh, you can uninstall it. Okay. Okay. So what kind of ammo does it take? Does it just take scout mach mech machine gun ammo? Or I'm not really seeing. All right, guys. Just to kind of organize my inventory a little bit. We did find the ammo. <clears throat> Thank God. Thank, Thank God the ammo is not the 120 millimeter standard rounds. It's actually the 7.62 because this takes three propellant and this takes 100. This must be like some kind of, I don't know, like mortar or something. I don't know, some kind of crazy thing. All right, so we're going to we're gonna get on out there. We're going to see what's what. And let's come on. Now, we don't have a lot of ammo, right? Actually, you know what? We should probably be making propellant while we're gone. Ah, I already put everything away. Screw it. Oh, am I actually still making propellant? Oh, yeah, okay. So I'm making propellant, so that's good. All right, so let's come on in here. And put the ammo in there. That's, a, that's not a lot of ammo. It's basically no ammo. Um, but, you know, at least now I know where how to, you know, use the ammo. Um, or how to make it, at least. So, let's come on through with our mech. Let's go over there and uh, see. Does it? I don't think the mech has any extra storage. Does it? 
I think I think it would be cool if the mech had like some extra storage. Well, it's got, oh it does have storage. Okay, cool. So that is um that is really awesome. All right, so let's get on over there. And uh, if you look on the top in the middle of the screen, that that is our power. So we're not gonna be going too far. I don't even know if the mech is faster than the person. I I'm assuming it is, but I don't know for sure. All right. Also, I think what we're gonna do next episode is we're gonna do some quests. Um, there is actually missions you can take in the game. Uh, let me take a look and see... Uh, jobs, yeah, jobs. So there's jobs here. We're going to take some remove uh, egg nest missions. But we are going to need... Uh, we're going to need ammo for that. So we're going to need a lot of propel uh, propellant. I want um, a gun for myself. I want a gun on my mech. Uh, I want to be prepared for this. And no, the uh, the stupid little uh, <laughs> nail gun is not going to cut it. It's, just, it's not going to cut it. Um, also, you can press V to go into uh, third person mode. All right. There we go. That looks cool. Although I, I like this mode better. It's just more, um, I don't know, more engaging. All right. So where is this place? I haven't been over here in a couple days. So I think it's over here and to the left. I was a little confused when I was walking around. And I saw this like desert area in my area. Like I'm nowhere near the desert, right? I'm nowhere near the desert, but there's little desert patches here, right? So what's that all about? Well, what that is all about is the developers had some real issues with the water. So they basically took it out of the game for now. They were having some uh, serious graphical issues. So, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right. So right over this hill should be what we're looking for. And uh, we're going to check it out. And then I don't know what we're going to do after that. Maybe we'll go to the desert, gather some more materials. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Let's just check this place out see what we got here we'll definitely uh, go through this research for sure this is our base right yes it's blue okay remember gotta remember to check it out you know all right so let's get out of here we turn that off so we don't waste any power all right let's come in here and see what we got um doors open that's um that's ominous i wonder if people are leaving stuff here that they don't care about well guys if you're playing this game don't leave stuff there you don't care about because then more stuff won't spawn um, members, nah, I don't think, I don't think anybody's on. I don't know why the door is open. Uh, repair kits. Yeah, they wouldn't have left, they wouldn't, they would not have left, uh, data storage here, so. Right. Oh, they wouldn't have left the, this here either. Railgun, very cool. And a precision rifle, very nice. Okay, what do you got for me? Uh, a ramp. Okay, so not a lot of data stuff, that's a bit of a problem. You know what, let's go to the mech graveyard. Let's go to the mech graveyard. Hold on. We're going to go there and we're going to check out what we can find over there. That's where you really get the data storage. I mean, because this place got to respawn. The um, the mech graveyard is much better um, for that kind of stuff. Because, uh, you know, the stuff is just all over the place. I'm actually going to look to shoot some fools over here, I think. Um, if I find any um, aliens just kind of hanging out, I think I might blow some away. I don't have a lot of ammo. I only have 25. But I'm hoping it'll be high powered and kill them pretty quick. So... We'll see. It might be a mistake. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And if I die, I die. I think we get back here quickly enough. We can get our we can get our gear back. So, All right, are we close to the graveyard? The graveyard, in case you're wondering, is G10. Yes, and we are almost there. We are almost there. Um, we're supposed to be getting paid like every hour or something, but I'm not getting paid. So, uh, oh, maybe I did. Um. So, wait, why is there two shotguns up there? Oh, that's weird. I put up a shotgun to sell, and now there's two. I said, buy it or I will kill you. <laughs> uh, sold items. No, why is this down here? Did someone redeem? I'm not sure what this is. It says it's sold, but I have to redeem it, but I don't have the money to redeem that. Yeah, I'm not sure what that what that's all about. Um, Yeah, well, what are you going to do? We need to keep a lookout on some of these... Uh, panel data sets see if we can get something we need um i think the next thing i want to get is something a mining some kind of mining laser or something for the uh for the mech i don't know and we got to work on our bigger mechs too i want to get some uh more badass mechs next episode is definitely going to be questing though for sure for show sure. hopefully i have enough stuff to get a good amount of ammo all right there's some more uranium there i don't really think i need a ton of uranium right now so i'm not going to worry about it i could put down my uh, my nuclear generator, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to expand the base a little bit. Actually, we should probably do that tomorrow too. Expand the base a little bit. And then that way we can put down our second oil generator. I don't like, um, I don't like using coal like at all. So, um, yeah, yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. 
Yeah. I, it'll be very minimal. It's not going to be any kind of crazy base build. I just want to get it expanded a little bit so we can get another uh, spot for another oil generator. Um, tomorrow's main thing is going to be questing. Or next video. I keep saying tomorrow. Next video's main thing is going to be questing. Can we zoom in? No, we can't. I tried to right click. Can't zoom in. Unless uh, the zoom in button's another button. Okay. Hey, what are you doing there, man? Don't walk without me. Yeah, see, you get two data data things usually here. I mean, it's just it's so much better um, over here than in that uh, that outpost by our base. Plus, that outpost can get taken over by the enemy, and then one day I might go there for, like, some loot, and then thing might blow me away. And it'll kill you quick, too. It'll kill you real freaking quick. Alright. Can I mine these? I know there's some kind of, um... There's some kind of plant I need to mine for, uh, healing items. So, if I'm gonna be getting into combat, I should probably be looking... Nah, it's not that. It's a different plant. Yeah, because if I want to make healing items, I'm going to need, uh, you know, if I want to go fight, I'm going to need healing items. So, speaking of fighting, let's find something around here so we can shoot something. There might, be so there might be an enemy up against those rocks. Last time I was here, there was an enemy kind of hugging the, the cliff face over there. Might be something interesting to check out. It's also nice to be here during the, during the day. <clears throat> I hear one of the major complaints on our Discord server right now is that there's no lights for the mechs. Um, it seems to be people's number one want. Um, lights for the mechs. That yeah, makes sense. I haven't been. I haven't had to travel around at night with a mech, but I could see how that could be a problem. We also have to keep an eye on our mech's energy. We don't want to get stuck out here with no energy. That would be bad. Like crossing the streams. That would be bad. Come on, get in there. All right. So do we have a guy over here or not? I don't see anybody to shoot. That's a bummer. I was hoping to be a guy over here. Oh, well, what are you going to do? He probably would have killed me, so. Alright, uh, we got a little case right here. Man, look at look at all these freaking data storage, dude. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to learn, we're going to learn stuff, man. We're going to be all smart and stuff. Okay, yeah, I don't see anybody over here to kill, but I do see a lot of, uh, data stuff. Okay, there we go. Whenever you empty those, they kind of pop out like that, and then they just sit there. So, and then if you open them again, they'll disappear, but, eh, I got time for that. Oh, there's another one. Wow. A lot of data around here, guys. Okay. Very good. Very good. We got a lot of data. That is awesome. That is just awesome. That's awesome sauce, people. That is, like, uh, just wonderful. Man, is there anyone over here I can blow away? <laughs> I had to finish that sentence. <laughs> Could not leave it. Could not leave that sentence unfinished. Just saying. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Alright, what do we got up here? Anybody up here? Hello? Hello, 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 hello. Anybody around, 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 around? I'm not seeing anything. Okay, we still got plenty of power, but um, we're going to lose daylight, unfortunately. My timer's about to go off, so let me turn that off for a minute. Uh, what is that? Nothing. That's just some glowy, freaky thing. Okay, anything over here? Some more glowy, freaky things? Okay, I'm not seeing anything over here, guys. Alright, I don't know. I, I, It's fun to hunt the enemies, though, because they drop more data. Data storage containers, so... But what are you going to do? You don't see any. You don't see any. So let's see if we can get some more. Let's go back to the uh, mech graveyard. Now, I don't know what happened over here with all these mechs. But it, it, it must have been bad. It must have been real bad. Because there is a lot of badass giant mechs over here. Like, my, my mech is like a little ant. My mech is like a little ant walking through. And there's like gargantuan mechs here. And they're all destroyed. So maybe I should be thankful there's no enemies around. Probably no, maybe. Look at this. This is like a tank over here. Look at that. It's like a, a, a mech tank. Badass. Right, let's see what else we got. Any more data? No, nope. looks like I got most of them. They will respawn, but you know, they take a little while, and my timer already went off, so I'll probably head back. Plus, we're, we're running out of daylight. We are definitely running out of daylight. 
this mech doesn't feel all that fast either. I want when next time next time one of my friends are on like when we're around the same area, I'm gonna have them go in their mech and we're gonna do a test to see who's faster. Cause I'm not I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced the mech's faster than us. It probably is, but I'm not convinced. The cool thing about the mech though is it's intimidating because it's awesome, and um, the real good thing about the mech is it has extra storage, which is nice. How much damage does this thing do? 24? Oh, that's a precision rifle about this. 29? Let's see what this looks like. Oh, look at that. That's an interesting looking gun. Look at it. It looks like, it looks like it's got teeth. It looks like it's, it's, it's like a jaw with a bunch of teeth. That's a cool looking gun, man. Watch out for my, my, um, my jaw gun. Oh, got another container over here. Yeah, we're going to have to call this one. That's eh, a bummer. I'm getting some good stuff over here, but... I think next time I come here, I'm going to come here, like, right away and make it the whole video. Although, you know, there's only so much you can watch of this, right? I mean, you know, do you really need me to, to, do you really need to see me farm this stuff? I mean, there's pretty much all the same stuff. It's not like there's any enemies over here making this uh, dangerous. So, maybe I, maybe I will farm it off camera. Why not? I'll, I'll make sure to get... Well, I'll try and make sure to get the research done on camera. To the best of my ability. Oh, is that is that what I need for health? Let's see what I need for health really quick. Crafting, consumables, bandages, uh, 25 hit points, and basic wound treatment. Oh, so that's 30 hit points? I would have thought a small med kit would be better than a bandage. Basic wound treatment. 30 hit points in 10 seconds. So this is what you want. So it's oil. Okay, so I don't need I don't need those plants. I got I'll just get oil for it. Yeah, I think a small I think a small med kit should get back more hit points than a bandage. Just my own personal opinion. All right, guys. Yeah, it is getting dark, and um, time went off a while ago, so I am going to call this one here. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time, and until then, take it easy.